All right, here we go. May the 4th be with you. We're beginning this. Uh, I'm going to let it go from the beginning because there's a little intro movie and I'm going to be quiet during it. And let's just watch and we'll meet at the uh, main title screen here. from the face of the galaxy. The Force fights with me! Get on those gun turrets! The Age of War. Between darkness and light. Bring her to me. Public forces pull back. It is too late to retreat, Admiral. There is no escape for us. Choose your path. You are strong, child, but I will break you. I'll never fall to the dark side. This is but a taste of the dark side. I'm hyped. Excellent. Well, welcome here. This is going to be a, my blind first playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. It, it feels like it fits completely in where the, where the channel has been going. Uh, I fell into Mass Effect, led me to Dragon Age, and now I, this is another Bioware game that I never played. Uh, this is going to be airing. I'm recording this the day before, so on May 4th. So I realized, oh, May 4th is coming. I'm going to start this so uh we'll see how often i put out episodes if i just slam through this or whether i savor it and enjoy and we release them as we go we'll see but i just wanted to play this um a little background with me with star wars i have watched all the star wars movies um i haven't seen all the clone wars uh and the rebels tv show i have not read all the old legacy books or even the new ones actually but I'm familiar with some of the, the the canon that used to exist and that's playing with all this. Uh, as far as video games, I've played um, The Force Awakens, I think, 1 and 2. Uh, I I've, I grew up playing some of the, you know, the shooter ones and the flying around, but I just have never played this. So I'm, I'm super excited, and I'm sure I'll remember other things we'll discuss as we go through here. And uh, let's just hit start. I know this is a hardcore role-playing game. I'm going to make mistakes during it with stats and all sort of stuff. But uh, we're just going to play with it. I've already gone into the options here and tried to uh, select the the best ones, like as far as subtitles are on, music is down a little bit. Now, here's the thing is right as we're introing here, I thought I was trying to include the intro movie that they have on here, but I'm listening to the music and I'm pretty sure that the music on the intro is going to like not allow us to watch it. So if you haven't seen it before, go Google and watch Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic like um, you know, pre main menu, whatever, uh, scene. It's kind of interesting. I liked it. Uh, it sets up the game It hypes it up. It's great. One other note on that too. I, the only thing I know about this game is that the opening crawl, when the music kicks in and goes, I cannot include that in this video. I think everybody who's streamed this game understands that you can't do that. But from what I hear, the rest of the game, all the little themes and music that are going on in the background shouldn't get us a copyright claim. So we'll find out. It'll be an adventure. Let's just jump into it and let's hit new game. Character creation before movie. All right. So a male scoundrel, a male scout, a male soldier. Uh, do we go with male? Female soldier, female scout, or female scoundrel. Oh, so this is how we're starting. Um, a scoundrel, a skillful rogue that gets by on stealth and guile. An explorer most at home on the fringes of space for the scout. Or the soldier, a battle-ready fighter with no equal in combat. Um, I don't know why it matters at all. In sense of things, scoundrel is probably more Han Solo... Sol but soldiers, I'm going to go with Scout and explore most at home on the fringes of space. And I don't know what this is going to do, but uh, let's go to quick character, quick text help. If you select this option, your character will use an optimized template. 
You only have to choose your character's appearance and decide on a name. Custom character. Custom help text. Se select this option to customize every aspect of your character. You will choose attribute, skill, and feat allocation as well as appearance and name. I think let's 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 see what's going on with Quick. So Quick would have us set up. You know, I don't know enough about this game, do I? To really, I mean, kind of switch it. I could change intelligence, quick scout. We're doing strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, charisma, basic role-playing style, fortitude, reflexes, and willpower. My reflexes are higher. Is that because I'm a scout? Let's um let's see if we were a male soldier. 16, 14. You know what? I'm going soldier. I'm not gonna play around with this. I you know, strength, charisma. Fortitude, reflexes are low, willpower. Yeah, we're going oh, It's so interesting. We'll go with soldier. We'll go with soldier. Let's pick a portrait here. Ooh. Interesting. Uh, by the way, this is the old school game. It's an Xbox game. I'm playing on, on an Xbox Series S. So we're just going to roll with that. I'm looking for the ones with the big beards, actually. We'll see. I like it. I, li I kind of like it, though. I like these faces. Um, but no beards. You know what? We're going with this. When I have my hair, when it grows out, and it grows out too long in the back, it kind of looks like that and not good. <laughs> so let's stick with it. Uh, so that's our portrait. Uh, let's go with a name. What kind of name could we have for our person? Is he going to be a Jedi at some point? Um, you know, truthfully, we already know. We're just going to go straight up here. Uh, uh, is it all caps? No, oh, here we are. We're just going to go with Idaho. We're not going to designate private because private is not the designation. My channel is named Private Idaho. So, <laughs> but we'll go with Idaho for a handle. And 12 health, 12 shield. We're just a basic soldier. I, I don't know how to get into the customization anymore without understanding it. So we're going to play. Now we probably have to cut out the music right here, but let's go. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. And I'll do a little... Da... Dig da 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 Dig da Dig da da I'm doing it fake. Because even if I did it really well, I think they would flag me on it. Dig da 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 Dig da 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 You know how it goes in the head, so... Knights of the Old Republic. 4,000 years before the rise of the Galactic Empire, the Republic verges on collapse. Darth Malak, last surviving apprentice of the Dark Lord Ravan, has unleashed an invincible Sith armada upon an unsuspecting galaxy. Crushing all resistance, Malak's war of conquest has left the Jedi Order scattered and vulnerable as countless knights fall in battle and many more swear allegiance to the new Sith Master. In the skies above the outer rim world of Taurus, a Jedi battle fleet engages the forces of Darth Malak in a desperate effort to halt the Sith's galactic domination. And that's where we will begin. Da -da 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 -da. And that's where we go. And bring it down. Sound is back in. <laughs> there we go. Now this music should be fine. Oh, this is cool. Let's do it. By the way, I'm old. I've played old games before, so I don't mind that this is an old game with old graphics. Yes. It's all going down. Everything's horrible. It's a nightmare, right? We find ourselves at the beginning of... It's our end at the beginning. Oh, we look great. Minus the beard. Dude, what are we doing? Somebody knocking on my door? We've been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. 
the Endar Spire. Uh, do we have time, though, to read this? Um, who are you? Press A to select uh, the Endar Spire. Who are, I don't care who he is. Did you fall out of your bunk and hit your head? The Endar Spire is the ship we're stationed on. This ship. You probably don't even know who I am, do you? I'm no. Trask Olgo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up. Or don't remember. We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Okay, Bastila. Uh, forget it. I'm looking for out for my own skin. I don't know that that we would say that, and uh, that'd be a fun playthrough though. Who's Bastila? Bastila is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer really, but she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. Yeah. I've heard all about Got your it. reputation. Elite combat training, tops in your class. It's no wonder you were handpicked for this mission. Where it is, the officers haven't seen a recruit with your kind of potential in 20 years. 20 but years. All that potential doesn't mean a thing if you can't deliver when it counts. We're soldiers. We're trained for combat. Bastel is going to need men and women like us at her side during this attack. Uh, okay, let's go help Bastila. Oath or no oath, I'm heading to the escape pods. I'm out of here, fool. Well, okay, let's go. So hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Uh, okay. Well, where can I get my equipment? Use the right thumbstick to control the camera and the left thumbstick to move towards your foot locker. Fourth wall Press breaking. Press the A button to open your locker <laughs> once it is targeted. Or you can pull the left and right triggers to cycle between targets until the foot locker is highlighted. Then press the A button to open it. Use the right thumbstick, or you can pull the left... <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to say, can you repeat that? Okay, okay. Uh, left and right triggers cycle through eligible targets while in combat. Only hostiles will be targetable, if in combat. So dialogue, open, open. Oh, I like that. A container inventory. Adrenal stamina, blaster rifle. Short sword, clothing, med pack. Um... How about, is it get all items? Experience points received 50. And this is uh, adrenal, staff, medical. You have multiple skills, feats, or powers in each icon of the action menu. Scroll up and down with the D-pad to cycle through the various options. I was kind of doing that there. That felt natural. Um, all that's back in there. Okay. So we can give things. Let's, uh... Come on, uh, we have oh. to hurry. The Sith might already be boarding the ship to try and capture Bastila. Put your equipment on so we can get out of here. Yeah, I don't feel prepared. How do I equip Use my items? Use the equip screen to equip the armor and weapons from your inventory. You can access this by using right. the directional pad to press the A button to select an invent. Okay, let's try. So we go here, we hit start, which is a totally different looking button. Um, we need to equip. 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 Uh, press A on the equip screen brings up a list of items you can equip and they highlight it. Right. Clothing. These are simple garments. Got it. Oh, because we have nothing on in that slot. Got it. You want a short sword? I want a blaster rifle. Wait, is that in my left hand? Right weapon, left weapon. Right weapon, blaster rifle. Does that take both? Yeah. We're going to leave the sword. Uh, damage to hit. Plus three. Um, I got to learn the system here. One through eight. What is the... Hold on a second here. Damage. Energy 1 to one to 8. I grew up with old school role playing games and I heard that this has kind of a DD and d kind of paper and pencil feel to it to like understanding some of the rules. Now I won't remember all the, all of the rules, but that's cool to start with. So uh, range 28 meters, right? Versus uh, critical threat range. I'm just looking between the two. More powerful than the commonly available pistol, the blaster rifle is favored by soldiers throughout the galaxy. This is because I'm a soldier, right? Civilian ownership of these weapons is not generally encouraged. Short sword. Disregarded by most modern warriors, a good short sword can still serve well in combat if the user is skilled. I don't know how skilled we are, but we're going to go with the blaster for now. We got anything else on us right here? I don't think so. Okay, let's move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. Trask has joined your party. Press A to go into party selection screen. In most areas, you can use the party selection screen to quickly switch party members in and out as you need them. This is done instantly and without having to return to your base. Characters switched out of your party will wait for you back at base. But can't you just switch out on the fly? Remember, any equipped 
items will remain on the character. So those these items will not show up in your inventory when a character is removed from the party. You will have to add the character to your party again if you wish to access their equipped items. Available slots one. Bro, this character must be a member of your party at this time. Okay. Well, he, he oh, he's already in there. How about you? This party member you have selected is currently unavailable to join. Well, then I think we would because be Because of the attack, done. this room is in lockdown. But don't worry. I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. Okay. How do I use you? Let's... You always control the leader of the party. You can switch who is the party leader by pressing the black button. Press the black button now to switch me to the party leader. Many or use select. Me to open the door. Simply target the door. So, uh, do you wish to turn... So, uh, cancel? Wait. What's... What's the B? Hold on. How do I turn solo? Solo button back to cancel. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. No, we're on our bumpers. Uh, paused, press blank to continue. Okay. Okay, that's between yes. these guys, and there's pause. Okay. It's my left bumper is paused. They've changed some of this. Cancel. That's That would be solo mode. All right. Now you, I can just go to this. Oh, open. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again. That's more experience. Can we go up a level? What? No, not yet. Hold on, hold on. Let's look here. And we got these right triggers up here. The party inventory screen shows a list of all the items not currently equipped by other party members or the companions back at your base. This inventory is shared by all party members. Gotcha. Um, show new items. Med pack, short sword, adrenal, stamina. Then we have. Oh, here's our. Oh, and we're in light and dark. So, oh, we have a path. We could change our character if we wanted, huh? Oh, there we go. Changing characters here. We have bonuses. He's 12s across the board. Experience, I need 1,000. I have 150. He needs. Got it. Then we have skills. Uh, this page lists your character's skills. Each skill has a number associated with it. This is the skill rank and determines how good the character is with that skill. When using a skill to perform an action, the rank is compared against a difficulty check number. For example, to open a lock with a difficulty check of 15, take your skill rank and security plus wisdom modifier, roll a d20. If the total is 15 or higher, the lock is opened. Wow. D20 system. <laughs> Anybody who knows, yeah. Wait, I, well, I, this isn't. This is actually. I kind of have a D twenty here. Um, I have another one sitting by. By this is actually. This isn't a D twenty. This is a damn uh, piece of a uh, magic eight ball that I pulled out. Be careful that juice will get blue on you. That's okay. I have a actual another magic eight ball. So <laughs> just wanted to pull one out and have fun with it. So, anyways, here uh, computer use, demolitions, and stealth, awareness, persuade, repair. Wait, total rank? Oh, I see. So we have treat injury for skill rank. Awareness, we have a bonus. Okay. Uh, messages screen shows game-related data such as experience, points gained, attack and damage rolls, and dark light side shifts. So this is the ongoing everything that we've talked about in case we missed something or a shift. Ooh, what's feedback? I like it, guys. This is this is in depth. This is gonna be great. I'm gonna take my time with this game too. Like we're gonna get through it. We're gonna have great episodes. I'm not gonna like try to kick out episodes every single day on it. <laughs> How about that? Uh, quest items. Oh, completed quest. Sure. Uh, end our spire command module. So this is the map. The map screen shows the explored area, the level, and your party's location. It also contains map notes designating important areas. Some levels, such as city areas, are fully mapped before you explore them. Because we just know where they're at. And then we have these. Oh, this is where we do this. Let's uh, put a save in. Alright, we are saved up. Now where are we going? Um, open dialogue. dialogue. We have to get to the bridge. Okay, let's go. 
This is Carthel Nassi. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge! That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. Um, let's move out. I, I could just got to it, didn't I? A utility droid. The active quest screen includes important information related to your ongoing adventures. Refer to this journal for hints and guidance throughout the game. Journal entry added. Um, let's... Oh, cancel. I'm going to hit the wrong buttons here and there for a while. Where's that journal? It's back over here. Uh, neat. So there's really nowhere we can go other than skate pod access the bridge. So we have to go there and then we'll backtrack. Got it. I understand. That's our notes. Map notes. Transit disabled. Party selection. That function is unavailable. Okay, I'm just looking at stuff. Attacks on the spire. Um, active quests, indeed. Let's go. What is that utility droid? Um, we can talk to him. Okay. That door is locked. I don't have the codes to open it. But switch me to the party leader so you can security use my skill. security skills. To... Okay, how do we use skills? Yeah, how do you use security on a door? How do I switch to the party? Okay, it's fine. Um, we know how to, and then we go over here. And we hit A. Once I get these controls done, I think we'll be fine. These Sith must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic. For the Republic, the game pauses when you sight an enemy. Good auto, and the selection reticule reticle uh, will show up in red. You can cycle through hostile targets using left and right triggers. This auto pause option can be disabled. No, we want the uh, the auto. Um, so, uh, oh, let's let's shoot that guy in the ground. No, I'm kidding. You press A to engage enemy sighted. Um, Power blast, rapid shot. Ooh, let's go rapid shot. Activates a highlighted combat feat. The character's available combat feats appear. We got it. Um, can't we? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, that's doing that. Pause. You. Can he not? Can he not fight? Do I not have him equipped? He has a pistol. Oh, there we go. It depends on who you're on. Uh, power blast. Just takes a second and then switch back to this guy. Now, once I've engaged, he's just going to keep doing it, right? Do I have him on rapid shot? I believe so. So let's... Yes. Oh, and he's already engaging on the next guy. Okay. Um... Open. 13 credits. I guess we go into his body dialogue. I got a feeling that won't be our last battle with the Sith. This is fun. Good thing we have med packs to heal our wounds. It might be a good idea to use one now before our next battle. How do I use a med pack? use an item like a med pack, or to use a feat, skill, or force power, you'll need to know how to use your action menu. Just tell me real quick. Uh... In the lower left of the screen, you'll see a list of icons. Left and the right, icons yep. icons in your action menu will change depending on whether your targeting circle is on a door, a container, a friendly creature, or Thank an enemy. Thank you. That does Press help. Press the A button to activate a highlighted icon. I understand. Go on. Uh, I understand. The Go icon on. on the far left is always the default action for the target. Open for doors or containers, dialogue for friends, and attack for enemies. The second icon shows your feats and skills. The fourth icon is for offensive items like grenades. The icon on the far right shows defensive items like med packs. And the fifth shows defensive force powers like heal. The third icon is offensive force powers like choke and lightning. Okay. So, if I wanted, I could do this, but do I need a med pack? I don't think we need a med pack. Right? So, no. Okay, um... Let's just real quick check our map. 
I want to feel like we already went down to that one there. We just came out of that way. Oh, jeez. Where's my health? I'm not seeing it yet. Okay, so as soon as we sight enemies... No action. We got a door there. Is there anything I can do? Oh, they would show me an action if I could pick up something, right? Oh, nice. So now if I just go to attack, he's just going to attack by default. Um, I'm just going to try saying attack. Whenever you spot an enemy, press A1 standard combat mode. This will lock the camera on the selected target and cause your character to attack each round. Oh yeah, and it's by round, so initiative, dexterity, things like that, right, will determine how often. Your chance of hitting a target are controlled by your statistics and behind the scenes combat roles. Combat is not affected by your aim, your character's movements, or the movements of your target. Love it. It's just a straight up, it's role playing game. We're choosing what we're doing and depending how powerful we are, our chances. Uh, okay. Pause. Um, we're on dude now. I want you to attack that one. And then I want. I'm back here, we're on that, now we're going to unpause. Our targeting is shit right now, I see that. Oh, there's some hits. Um, pause. How do we... Oh, can we... It's not about our aim position, is our guy just horrible with this? Um, you. And then we could... We're in combat. Um, can we power blast this fool? And I'm going to come back to Sith Soldier. I'm seeing his health. Okay, and then we are on me. Sith Soldier. Go. Sure. Now, I did get hit, so we will attempt for the first time ever the med pack. Nice. And let's move forward. Frag grenade. Which, wouldn't that automatically, didn't they say... Oh, in combat it'll show up, yeah. Med pack, 10 credits. What's this? Open? Another one? I'm loving the moving around and the, the selecting things. Oh, this is so cool. Frag grenade, short sword, long sword. Combat suit. Oh, we're, we're putting on that combat suit, aren't we? Let's see. Right here. Clothing equipped combat suit. Max dexterity bonus plus five, so it limits, but defensive bonus. Even the most frugal of mercenaries know they need at least some protection from the rigors of combat, although suits of this type are recommended for light skirmishes only. Well, I mean, it's the best we got, right? Um, and can we switch characters here? There we go. He's already wearing clothing. Oh, man, what's his... Would he be better with the sword? Or could we put... Um, we put a sword in his hand. Uh, I'm gonna go with a short... You cannot equip this weapon while an incompatible weapon is equipped in your other hand. Okay. That... Oh. What are these? Left arm? Arm? Oh, for clothing. Okay, okay. Well... I... Oh. Say we're... Is there anything in there? Okay. There's... Was there another container over here that I didn't get? Or... We already opened that one, I thought. So, so the containers stick around. You have to remember what you actually did. Let's go. Alright, oh! Oh, sword combat. Oh, grenade. That isn't good. No action. Oh, we got all types of action. There we go. Oh, we're right in view here. Okay, so, you know what I want to do for fun? I'm going to, um, throw a grenade at him. 
<laughs> oh, there's another one here. Let's uh, attack. Is my is my other boy there gonna attack on his own? Yes. Oh, I can move. Um, let's. Now these skills, do these use up like a power or something? I'm not understanding that. That's okay. Let's um, let's give it a shot. Wait, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> yeah, we're not playing around here. We're not playing around. Let's pause this game. Not that time is an issue. Uh, forward, left, forward. Yeah. Unpause. There's no reloading. That's good. Remains. Credits and a med pack. Credits, med pack, and two frag grenades. The two that we use for. Oh! Parts. Um, oh, there's something going on on the other side of that door right there. I'm hearing lightsabers. Okay, I... Oh. Save spam there real Dark quick. Jedi. This light is too much for us. We better stay back. All we do is get in the way. So what do we do? Good looking stuff, though. This is fun. Cut his head off. Oh, yeah, he's toast. Oh, now you're toast too. That was one of the Jedi Ooh. accompanying Bastila. Damn, they could have used her help. Oh no. Um. <laughs> uh, and then if he's not dead yet, we'll attack there, right? No, nope, cancel. And pause. Uh, nope. Hit him. Remember, only once to engage your enemy, you will automatically attack your target. You Tron, do not have to press A, a again. Perfect. While engaged in the combat, you can use the action menu to activate power feats. Yep. So, I get it. So I can just kind of move back and forth between. We have to get to the bridge. We're, we're moving, dude. Um, you know what? Uh, da -da -da. I just got to get used to switching between you. Yes. I don't know that he needed it, but we're going to pick up the med pack for him. We're getting used to doing things that... Uh, vibration cell, adrenal strength. I want it. Where's... Where's their lightsaber? Okay. Now which way... I still feel like I need to check the map sometimes. Yeah, I see exactly. Me, my stuff. So far, what a great! I'm loving the intro. The bridge is just beyond that door. Tutorial. You better equip your melee weapon. There isn't much room on the bridge, and it's suicide to use a blaster in close quarters. Okay. I should equip a melee weapon too. Either that, or I'll have to stay back and use my blaster. Um, what if they have your lightsabers? Your melee weapon is made using a cortosis weave. It's strong enough to stand up against anything, even a lightsaber. Okay. So, how do we do this? We just have to actually literally go into our people and change our weapons. I'm going with a long sword. <laughs> can you, oh, can you do one of each? Do I want one? No, no, no. Um, how do you unequip? Hmm. Well, that's crazy. You know, I guess at this point we'll hold on. We'll we'll leave the two just to see what it does. Where are you at, man? You need one too, don't you? We'll give you the short sword. Could have given him the long sword and two short swords, but uh, we'll just roll with it for now. Okay, let's um. What? Let's go. So don't unpause accidentally. What is this power attack? Wait, why can I only get the one guy? I'll power attack him. What? Ah! 
because they're already attacking there. Basto is not here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pods. We better head that way too. The Sith want Bastil alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. Journal entry added. So I think, let's pause it for fun. That would auto level up. Oh, let's do a, let's do level up. I don't care. Um, skills. Each of your character's skills has a number associated with This is the skill rank and determines how good the character is with that skill. When using a skill to perform an action, the rank is compared against a difficulty check. For example, to open a locked door, DC 10, blah, blah, blah. Got it. So uh, what, what do we care here for? Governs the ability of a character to spot objects or enemies hidden by stealth. Um, repair, persuade, security, treat injury. One remaining point, computer use, allows a character to splice computer programs using disposable logic rams called computer spikes. A character might disable gun turrets or a flood or flood a patrol area with more complicated tasks, requiring more spikes. A higher rank of this in this skill reduces the number of spikes required. Stealth, demolitions, um, awareness. Persuade. You know what? Charisma. Related attribute, though, is our charisma. Only the main character can select this skill during level up. Persuade options appear in dialogue when interesting or sensitive information is available that a character might otherwise be reluctant to reveal. When selected, a rank in this skill is compared with how extreme the task is. Um, a guard might easily agree to increase a bounty, but convincing him to leave his post would be much harder. You do not have enough skills points to... Oh, it's a cost of two? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Um. Oh, recommended. It would be treat injury five, but... Let's see here. It's recommended. Uh, can we just go to accept? You have not spent all your skill points. These may be saved and you may spend them next time if you gain a level. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Because I'm interested in feats. Uh, feats. We have armor proficiency, light. Armor pro proficiency, medium or heavy. Ooh. Or toughness. What's recommended? Sniper shot. Because I'm... Hmm. Let's see here. Heavy weapons, melee weapons, blaster rifle. Um, you know, at this point... I don't know that we shouldn't be going for melee weapons, because if they're saying we, there are places we can't be using, I want to do Blaster Rifle 2. But I... And armor proficiencies are great, but we can shoot... You have to do one to the other to the other? I think so, they progress. So I'm going with... Because we're in a Star Wars world where I don't know if I'm going to become a Jedi or whatnot, but it looks like we still have melee stuff. Um, so I'm going to go with it. Did I just do that? Yeah, I think I did. And accept. Now, one more. He still needs more experience. We barely got up right. So, uh, let's unpause this thing. We need to get off of here. Um, oh, that's a weird... There's a, I hit the button for looking. There's obviously nothing to do here. Oh. Credits, uh, repair kit, we look healthy. Alright, let's get off of here. Oh, this de door has been damaged and will not open. Bastil is not here on the bridge. Yes. The Sith want Bastil alive. Right, so... We can go out this other door. I see, I see. Can we switch guns in the middle of a fight? Something well, behind well. here. Damn, another dark Jedi. I'll try to hold him off. You get to oh, the no. escape pods. Go! Oh no, dude's not gonna hold him off. He's dead. Instantly. Uh yeah, let's where's our map? They're literally so it's literally the way we're facing that just got screwed up. Um, okay. Task is brought 
bought you the time you need to escape, you should make your way to the starboard section of the ship. Oh, is that the wrong one? Is it over here, actually? Yeah. My bad. <laughs> this is Karth Onassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Now, I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. Aren't we right there? Okay. There was something about stacking actions to... Okay, so... Can we switch in the middle of combat, as long as we have it on us? Blaster rifle. Um, power blast. It's my ability to just kind of have cover here. Am I too close? Range. There we go. Those remains, we need them. Those credits. I can't wait to explore this game. It actually feels really fun right now. I don't care. Oh, so, uh... <laughs> um... Let's see here, I'm getting, I'm getting hit a little bit there. Be careful. There's a whole squad of Sith troopers on the other side of that door. You need to find some way to thin their numbers. You could reprogram the damaged assault droid to help you, if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire security systems against the Sith. Um, we'll see which one we can do here. Let's uh, check out our stuff. Uh, let's see here. Footlocker, open. I love the looking around with the with the buttons. Computer spikes parts, so we have plenty. We can do either way: combat droid, door, footlocker. Do we not, do we have the skill? How do we do the spike thing here? There we go. Security panel. System loading complete. Enter command. Computer uh, splicing tutorial. View starboard transport module logout. Tutorial. Players can slice into computers to try and override or reprogram existing commands. Slicing a computer requires computer spikes. Um, more complicated programs require more spikes. The number of spikes requires very depending on the computer skill of the character. But I don't have any computer skill, do I? View to cancel. This is the starboard, so I can see it. To cancel and return to interface. Um... Computer, I can overload the power conduit. Camera feed. Is that going to be in there and kill everybody? We can go with that. Success, power conduit, overload, switching to security camera. Yeah, that's, I, was, I was like, wait, what? Just show me that we killed everybody. <laughs> Experience points received 150. Items lost. Yes. This... Nice. Um, droid repair. Fixing a droid in this manner requires repair parts. Sure. Um, I don't think we need to reactivate it right now. We can do one or the other because we're done. You leave the droid alone for now. And we've already been here, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Um, we got past them. Let's pick up Ion Blaster, prototype vibroblade. So, Ion Blaster. Damage 1 to 4 uh, versus droid, though. It's better, right? Unlike a typical blaster, this weapon fires a stream of energy very damaging to electrical systems, causing havoc on the internal components of droids. Uh, Vibroblade, 1 to 10 over 1 to 12. Uh, damage bonus plus 1. Critical threat, 20 20 times 2. Balanced, um, upgradable melee, because it's upgradable. Is that the special? This is a very adaptable model of Vibroblade made for the user on a budget that will be that will be purchasing upgrades as resources or finances, finances become available. So we want the Vibroblade. 
cool. But well, we're not going to equip it yet. We will as soon as we need to. I'm just, I feel like I'm understanding You've this game. You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. Uh, who are you? I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. We're the last two crew I thought we were the last. Basil's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on. There'll be time for questions later. Sure there will. Okay, uh, we have another party member, huh? Basila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, okay. Come on. There'll be time for questions later. Let's just look around. There's nothing. Let's go. It's the last escape pod and your only hope of survival. Uh, use it. Step away. We're using it. We're using it. I mean... How are we not going to use it? Crash. Oh, nightmares. Nightmares. Bad dreams. Okay. Is this our dream? Ooh, we've been touched. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. Oh, we met. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? Slightly. Um, I had a strange dream, like a vision or something. Right, I'm Idaho, by the way. Uh, how did we get here? Karth, the one on the communicator. I remember. Where am I? How did I get here? Ah, oh, I love there's lots of options here. Um... Right, I'm Idaho, by the way. How did we get here? I've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. Try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. You were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site in all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. Awesome. Uh... Yeah, I thought I had turned the music down just a bit to not be. It seems like it's really loud compared to the the, uh, the talking. We'll figure it out. The Sith? I guess I owe you my life. Thanks. Uh, so are we just going to wait here for the Republic to rescue us? I guess we'll ask the the Sith. I, Terrace yeah, is under Sith control. Their mm. fleet is orbiting the planet. They've declared martial law and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. Everybody there is speaks no English. way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. Ourse only rely on ourselves, except you can rely on me, I'll help you. <laughs> Why is it so important to find Bastila? Bastila, she's the one from the Endar Spire, right? Why is it so important? That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Oh. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endar Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. Awesome. Uh, well, how can one person, even a Jedi, be so important? If Basil is a Jedi, she can probably look ap after herself. How do you even know Basil is still alive? Forget it, I'm not risking my life to try and save her. Any idea where we should start looking? How can one person, even a Jedi, be so Basila important? Basil is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Basil's power can influence entire armies. Through the Force, Bastila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. Often that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. Of course there are limits to what she can do, but from what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast, she never had a chance to use her battle meditation. 
Like us, she barely got out alive. Uh, so what do you suggest we do next? If Bastil is a Jedi, she can probably take care of, look after herself. Forget it. Um, how do we even know she's alive? Um, do, 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 do. What are we looking for? So what do we, you suggest we Bastil do next? Bastila's gonna need our help. Many of Darth answers. Malak's followers can use the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. Nobody will be looking for a couple of common soldiers like us, and if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Bastila won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how important she is to the war effort. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Bastila's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help, and we'll probably need hers. Probably. Uh, any idea where we should start? What's in this for me? I think I'll take my chances on my own. No, not right now. If it uh, means getting off this planet, I guess I can help you find Bastila. We were all part of this. We took a pledge. Like, what is this ditching out thing? I mean, you can role play it though. Uh, any idea where we should start? While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. Yeah, but probably. the Undercity is a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Bastila any good if we go and get ourselves killed. Okay. Um, the sooner we go looking, the better. Come on, I want to scout this planet out a bit. I want to ask you some I'll questions. I'll tell you whatever I can, though I, I don't know how much help it'll be. What do you know about Malak and the Sith? Everything I know about Malak is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith master. With Revan's death, Malak became the new Dark Lord. It's obvious that Malak's a ruthless tyrant who'll crush anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience has shown that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malak and his Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. It's hard to imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi could become such a monster. A Jedi? What do you mean? Sounds like Malak and the Sith have the right idea. Um, uh, don't worry, we'll find a way to stop the Sith. I want to ask you something else. The sooner we get going, right? Uh, a Jedi? What do you mean? Well, Malak and Revan were once both part of the Jedi Order. But they were young and headstrong, and against the wishes of the Council, they went to battle the Mandalorians on the Outer Rim. Something happened out there. Something corrupted them and drew them over to the dark side. Or maybe there was something rotten inside them all along. I don't know. They formed an army of ex-Republic soldiers and Jedi who'd fallen to the dark side, with Revan at their head, until Revan was killed by Bastila's Jedi strike team. But even that didn't slow the Sith down. Malak just stepped in and assumed Revan's role. He took control of the Sith Armada and resumed the bloody conquest of the Outer Worlds. Now who's the next? The other? Who's the second? Is it, do they have the Law of Two or whatever it is? I want to ask you something. Don't worry, we'll find a way to stop them. Sounds like Malak had the right idea. Um, uh, how do we go? The sooner we find her, don't worry, we'll find a way to stop the Sith. That's a that's a big deal for us to be like, we'll stop the Sith. I want to ask you something. I'll tell else. you whatever I can. No, I um, what can you tell me about the planet? Taurus was once a magnificent planet-wide metropolis of towering skyscrapers, but that was a long time ago. The upper city, where the rich citizens live, is is still pretty safe. If it wasn't for the Sith occupation and the planet-wide quarantine, it might not even be a bad place to live. But farther down, things have degenerated. The, the lower city is nothing but a slum overrun by swoop bike gangs, waging a never-ending war for control. And the undercity is... well, it's even worse. The lowest level of Terrace is a wasteland overrun by rat ghouls, mindless, diseased mutants that attack on sight. I've already entered all this info into your data pad journal. Well, thank you. Uh, I'd like to know some more about you, Karth. Yeah, how about that? I understand why you want to know more about me. I, I kind of get the feeling we'll be spending a lot of time together over the Will next we? while. But this isn't really the best time for long introductions. We should stay focused on the task at hand. There'll be a time for that later. Uh, what do you know about Malak and the Sith? Uh, what can you tell me? I feel like we're kind of repeating. So, so the sooner we start looking for Bastila, the sooner we find her. Let's go. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Bastila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. And this is our base. So general entry added experience points received 350. 
All right. Looking great. Uh, let's... Anything in here? Some spikes. Thank you. Uh, throughout the game, you will find weapons and armor that are marked as upgradable. These items can be improved by the addition of an upgrade item. With upgrade items, you can use this workbench to construct new, more powerful versions of upgradable ranged weapons, melee weapons, lightsabers, and armor. Uh, let's use it for a minute. Prototype fiber blade. We don't have anything to put in it. Vibration cell. Wait a second. Damage bonus slashing one. Is this permanent? I don't know. We're doing it. I mean, why wouldn't we? Cool. Now, who else do we have with us? Nobody? Do we have a party? Oh, there's our little map. That's nice. Hideout. Um, we don't have a party screen here, don't we? Yeah, well, uh, not yet, or we just don't have option because we don't have a party member at the moment. How you doing, yes, Carson? Maybe that. Mind? Uh, do you know anything about this place? Got Never mind, it. let's go. Every time you leave the apartment, you must select which party members you wish to take. Since this is the first time you're leaving, you will have to take Karth. Available slots one, let's go. We're done. Come on, Karth. We should okay, look at you stuff. alien scum. Everybody get up against the wall. This is a raid. Alien scum. Oh. We need to keep a low how profile. We deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. Hey, what's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives. Attack! Oh, no way, dude. Really? Um. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know what time it is. Uh, poor Excalibur should never have talked back to that Sith. Thankfully, you were here to step in and help us, human. Yeah, poor Excalibur, indeed. I was, oh, thought I wouldn't have time to read it. This isn't the first time the Sith have come in here to cause trouble for us, but hopefully it will be the last. They own the planet, though, don't they? I uh, won't someone come searching for this patrol? Right. I'm glad I could help. Stay out of my way or I'll kill you. Won't someone come searching for the patrol? Don't worry about the bodies. I will move them so it looks like they were killed elsewhere. That should throw the Sith off the track. With any luck, they won't be bothering us again for a while. Nice, dude. Nice. Um... First of all, we're going to pick that up. Oh, I got to level up, I think, too. Blaster rifle, frag grenade, poison grenade, adrenal, strength, stamina. Take them all. Uh, is that us leveling up? I think it is. Let's, let's do it here because now skills. I wanted to go with persuade. Except we'll play with some other stuff later, but I'm just going with what I want. Too bad. Too bad. Um... This guy down here we had worked with... Didn't we do this already? Or did we not do weapon proficiency remaining feats one? Remove feet? Do we already have the feet? Come on. You have gained new feats. You must use X to select your new feats before continuing. Okay. Oh, add a fee. Oh, these are the things we already have as one. As hmm. Hmm. What? So we have proficiencies with all our armor. Is that because we're a soldier? And we would be increasing this. So we want to add a feat. Melee weapons. I'm going with it. Nice. And I don't think we have anything else for the other character yet. So, come on, dude. Uh, anything to say? Yes, what's on your mind? I'd like to know more about you. Uh, do you know anything about this place? Karis? Well, the planet's all one big city, but its golden years are long past. 
and th from what I hear, the wealthy live in the... Right, that's right. all I can think. You Never mind, it. sir. Thank you for being quick and efficient and being able to go through this. Thank you once again, human. And as I said earlier, don't worry about the bodies. I'll take care of that for you. Got it. Let us look at our map real quick here. What's he got in his... You know what? I Oh, equipped. Karth's Blaster. Um, upgradable. Ranged. Okay, so we're going to want to upgrade his stuff. Yeah. He's looking okay. We'll roll with it. We could put a blade in his hand if we get into some melee stuff. Um, let me see here. There we go. Uh, Terrace, South Apartments. Map. Note to your apartment. What kind of mission are we even on? The search for Bastilla. You are stranded on Terrace. We need to find her. Um, you should probably begin by investigating reports of escape pods that crashed in the Undercity. Okay. Let's just kind of walk around for a minute. Now, how, do, how do we... Are, is this our apartment door? How do you get back to... Janitor? Hey Hi. there! What, well, what, what's where you're walking? I just clean those floors. Uh, who are you? Sorry, I didn't know. I'll walk wherever I want. Sorry, well, I didn't then, know. All right, then. No hard feelings. My name's Kadir. I'm the janitor nice. for this building. You must be the new tenant here, right? Eh? You ever thought they'd rent that abandoned apartment? Mm. You look like an off-worlder. What happened? You get stuck here because of the quarantine? Can't see any other reason someone would want to rent that old apartment. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I want to ask you some questions. I'll be going now. Um. Don't know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here, I guess I can try and help you out. Love the voice acting so far. Tell me about Terrace. Where can I get some equi where can I get some equipment? Well, the best place to go is probably Kebley Yurt's store. She's right across from the cantina, so you can stop in for a drink if you get thirsty while you're shopping. You just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. It'll take you out to the upper streets near them. And from there, just head south a ways. You can't miss it. Um, anything else? Don't know how much I can... Let's see. I'll be going. What do you think of the Sith in this quarantine? Tell me... Decent Terrace, tell enough me. place to live, I guess, except for the lower levels. That's where the swoop gangs hang out. Just stay in Upper City and you'll be fine. You right. also might want to check out the cantina. I used to go there when I was younger. Good place to get a drink and find out what's going on in Upper City. Oh, where's Just the cantina? Keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator and head south. All right. I should get back to get back to work, dude. We still get to run around with our rifles. We don't care. We could be going any number of directions. Low security door. Oh, for you. Before the Sith arrived, she was there was talk of changing Terrace's alien restriction laws, but I guess that probably won't happen now. Aw. It's a droid. What is this place? Um. Hey, what's up, dude? Maintenance droid. We could. Oh, we can talk. No, that's. I was the droid. There we go. Beep, beep, beep out. This is low security door. I'm not interested in. They say Terrace is the Coruscant to the Outer Rim, but this world is nothing but crumbling buildings and urban waste. If you say so, to the Upper City. That's the elevator, huh? Oh, this, did we already come around this way? Ithorian? Who's Ithorian? Sorry, human, but I do not wish to engage in conversation with you. Residents of this complex prefer to keep to themselves. So we know a lot of different languages. Yeah, okay, we came full circle. And, oh, well, I don't see too many of your kind around here. Most of the residents in this town, in this rundown old apartment, are illegal aliens. My name is Laram, by the way. Jingba. Uh, pleased to meet you, Laram. My name is Idaho. I don't care what your name is, and I'm not telling you mine. Now nah, we're being nice. I know it's really none of my business, but you look like someone who might need to purchase one of those new energy shields. They're the latest thing, you know. Very high tech. 
Uh, what's so great about these shields? I know all about energy shields. Now nah, we'll ask. We'll be nice. When you use one, it surrounds you with a radiant aura particle mesh that absorbs blaster bolts. Pretty handy in a fight. The shield even protects against lightsabers, or so I hear. The shields aren't perfect, of course. They can only absorb so much energy damage before they burn out. And ion blasters will take your basic dueling shield down pretty quick. And ion blasters, right, that will destroy shields. And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand-to-hand -hand and melee combat. Does anybody know Dune? Because once all I'm going to tell you is anybody who knows Dune, if you're watching Dune and wondering why, like, it feels like some of the stuff was um, stolen from Star Wars, it's because Star Wars took... But the slow blade, you know, and the shield and everything, and the use of melee weapon it's just great. Oh, where did the technology come from? I've heard rumors of the Kanchi, Kani, using shields like this, but I never saw anything like them around here. Not until the Sith came, where they discovered the technology is anybody's guess. So many languages. The shields are too rare and too expensive to hand out to the entire army, but a shielded strike team can take out a whole battalion of soldiers, soliders, armed with conventional blasters. It gave the Sith a huge edge in the early battles, but it wasn't long before the Republic was able to copy the technology and come up with energy shields of their own. Now both sides are scrambling to come up with new weapons to slice right through the shields, but until they do, you're going to see melee combat coming back to the forefront in this war. Anything else? Um, how about that? Anything else? Not much more to say, really, except that I've managed to get my hands on one of, these, of those shields. It isn't cheap, but it could mean the difference between life and death. You want to see what I have in stock? I know my kiosk isn't much to look at, but my prices are reasonable and the merchandise is sound. Is it Mandarin? Um, what do you have at a have? Why do you have a kiosk set up here? You mentioned something about illegal aliens. Um, I want to ask some more questions. Let me see what you have for sale first. No problem, just step up and have a peek. Alright, dude. Computer uh, parts. Military suit. Heavy combat suit. How much are these things? Item cost. Ooh, we have 164 credits. Uh, we have the Vibro Blade. Longsword Quarter Staff. Vibro Sword. Ion Blaster. These are for buying. I'm making sure this isn't our stuff. There's the Energy Shield. 154. Amount 1. Deflection energy, 20 points duration, 200 seconds or maximum damage taken charges. Using this item consumes one charge. This item is automatically discarded after all available charges are consumed. Items that have charges do not stack in inventory. When equipped and activated, these items project an energy shield around the wearer. The small power source can burn out when repeatedly stressed, requiring replacement of the entire unit. Stealth dampening, stealth field generator, battle stimulant, minor flash, um, different mines. I love it. So no, I'm not going to go for that right yet. We're gonna we're gonna hold off on everything. Anything else, though, Larim? Um. Why do you have a kiosk set up here? I run a little shop here in this old building, selling basic equipment to the illegal aliens renting out these apartments. Um. Yet, yeah, you mentioned something about illegal aliens. By law, most aliens aren't allowed to have a residence in the upper city of Terrace. They allow a few of the Twi'leks up here, but for the most part it's humans only. But no self-respecting upper city human would want to live in the apartments in this dump, so the landlord has been renting out the apartments illegally to aliens. 
Better than letting them sit empty, I guess. Otherwise, you get squatters and people hiding out from the authorities living in the abandoned apartments and they don't pay rent. Aren't you worried about getting caught? The terrorist authorities pretty much turned a blind eye to this place. A few illegal aliens just weren't worth the bother. And once the Sith took over, they felt the same way. Besides, I don't live here myself. I just run a small business providing supplies to the residents. Well, there we go. Uh, you want to see what I have in stock? Nope, we'll be going. See you around. No, we'll, not if we see you first. So the shield is a one-time use, but you can, like, get their their reusable items. Hmm. Okay, well, where's... Is this to the upper? No. Over here is. All right. I want to head to the upper city. Beautiful. A journal entry added. No major events at the moment. We're going to want to head south, I think. Oh, this place is beautiful. And, uh, go find this cantina. And let's do it all in the next episode.